Let's yeah. get to the meteor meteorology on the board for the kids. By the way, headed to school this morning. It's a warm and humid mo um, uh, morning with temperatures near 70 degrees, and we're going to stay that way all day long. By recess time, a scattered shower and spot showers too for the afternoon commute, but I think the bulk of the rain should be later on this evening and into the overnight hours. Speaking of some of the storms coming in, this is our chance of severe weather today in that darkest shade of blue. That's where we see the lowest chance of thunderstorms, but still likely to see severe thunderstorms. In for us here at home, it's mostly across western Massachusetts. That doesn't mean, though, one or two won't sneak out because I surely do think they will at about 8 p.m. to 9. What we have on the board right now is just plain old rainfall, thunderstorms offshore uh, near the Long Island Sound, but across Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard, the first up for some of the rainfall, uh, not only for the day, but for the weekend, too. But getting into the weekend, this is very important here. The forecast has improved for Saturday for parades, for graduations, for proms and celebrations celebrations outdoors. I think we're OK and good to go. We still need to watch the weather and monitor it because there will still be some rain in the vicinity. Some of that starts today. And by the way, the 10 day also still stays warm as well for the showers coming in this morning. It's raining intense at times too through Norfolk County, perhaps into Boston at about 1130 this morning and across Cape Cod and Nantucket. This lifts north and east. Now we've got Bristol County and Barnstable County added into the mix too with heavier downpours at two to three in the afternoon and showers erupt across Nashua, Lawrence, and Essex County. That lifts off towards the north. That is our warm front coming in. There's another frontal boundary from the west, and this will spark the chance of severe storms. Now 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock for the onset across western Massachusetts and then central Massachusetts at about 9 o'clock to 10 tonight after the Celtics have uh, taken the first W, if you will, in the Game 1 NBA Finals later on tonight. For our temperatures and highs today, right around 73 in Boston, 75 in Lowell, also in the low 70s too in places like Norfolk County, for example. Tomorrow we're near 76 with a wind out of the north and west. It's another, another foggy start to the morning, but scattered rain showers in the afternoon and evening. This seems a little bit less likely to be widespread, but still they're isolated in pockets at 5 p.m. across Laconia and Keene and then Providence too, and perhaps just clipping Boston into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. I still think, though, today is the wettest day of the next five to seven headed into the weekend for the Pride for the People Parade. Patchy fog in the morning time frame. Temperatures near 72 at 11 a.m. and 75 right around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And a 10-day forecast, look, I know that we were talking about rounds and rounds and rounds of rainfall earlier in the week. I am happy to say most improved will be Saturday. There are still spot showers almost each and every day into the week. Weekend, but it's looking less likely where it's a widespread downpour early next week. We're back into the upper 70s and low 80s.